Are you all ready for bed, I see? Snuggle up under those blankets and carefully listen to me. With your pillow underneath your head and slowly closing your eyes, let's all get comfortable and get ready for a story surprise. Whether we venture through the forest and make new friends or fly off through the distant lands, you can always depend. After you listen for a while and you start to nod off, you can count on us to give you a great snoozy send off. Welcome to another story for you. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Snoozy, the Bedtime Bear. And today we have a story for you called Freddy Finds a Home. With so many bees, the hive has been growing bigger and bigger. And there's just not enough room for it anymore. Knowing this, Queen Bee gives Freddy the mission of finding a new place for the bees to live. Join Freddy as he journeys do 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 Freddy Finds a Home Freddy the Bee was very happy. He flew from one beautiful flower to another collecting the lovely dust they call pollen. It was his favorite job to do because pollen would be made into delicious honey. He was just about to land on a very colorful flower when a messenger bee found him. You have to come back to the hive, Freddy, the messenger bee said. The queen wants to see you right away. Freddy knew it must be important if the Queen wanted to see him. He was feeling a bit nervous as he entered her room. What could the Queen want of me? He asked himself. I'm only an ordinary soldier bee. The queen was the most beautiful bee Freddy had ever seen. Her eyes were so bright, they seemed to see everything about Freddy, as if she had known him for a long, long time. Thanks for coming here, she said in a clear voice. I need your help with something very special. Whatever I can do for you, I will try, Freddy replied, because he really meant it. This hive is getting too small, the queen explained. There are so many bees here that we are afraid it may fall off our tree branch. Also, there are too many bears in the field. We are also afraid they will find our hive and try to get our honey. That's why I need your help, Freddy. We have to move. Freddy was still puzzled 
about what the queen wanted him to do. How can I help you? Freddy asked. You are our best soldier bee, the queen said simply. I want you to find a new place for us to build a hive. It has to be some place where there are fields of flowers and a gigantic tree for us to build on. Can you find us a place like that? Freddy wanted more than anything else to help the queen bee. I will find a place like that and I won't come back until I do. Good luck, said the queen. You have a lot of courage. With that, Freddy flew off to search for a new place to build a hive. At first, he didn't know exactly where to look. He was flying in circles around the field where the hive was when he saw someone who might be able to help him. It was Hannah the Hummingbird sipping nectar from a tall purple flower. Her wings were moving so fast Freddy could barely see them and she was almost floating in the air. Hello, Freddy, she said when she saw him. You seem busy as usual. Hi, Hannah, Freddy said in a friendly voice. I wondered if you can help me. I need to find a good place to move our beehive. Thanks for tuning in. That was a short preview of another story for you. Boys and girls, click the like button. And when you come and visit us, you can download your favorite story or just print out your favorite picture to color yourself. Goodbye for now.